Let us solve few numerical. You can read the question from your screen. In the question, we are given with volume charge density rho V and we are asked to find the total charge that is contained by the volume that is given in the question. My dear, before solving the question, first of all, carefully observe how volume is represented in the question. We have seen that for the representation of the volume, we have all three coordinates variables, isn't it? And you can observe the same thing from the question also. We are given with the ranges or limits for all three coordinates. That means all three coordinates are variables, isn't it? You can also observe that we are given with the ranges or limits for the variables rho, phi and z. That means this question belongs to cylindrical coordinate system. We are going to solve this question with the formulas that are used for cylindrical coordinates. Isn't it? But hold on a second my dear. Carefully observe the given function rho v. It is in terms of x, y and z. That means it is represented in Cartesian coordinate system. But just now we have concluded that we are going to solve this question in cylindrical coordinates. So now there is a problem. The given function is in Cartesian coordinates. The ranges for the integration are in other coordinates, cylindrical coordinates. So what, sh what should we do now? My dear, it is very simple. We have to bring both of them into the single coordinate system. So what I am trying to convince you that though the given function rho v is in Cartesian coordinates, we will convert it from Cartesian to cylindrical coordinates. We can also do one thing. We can convert the given limits into Cartesian coordinate system and solve the question in Cartesian rather than in cylindrical. But you know, I wouldn't recommend this approach because of the complexity involved. So by the simple way, let us just convert the given function, the given charge density from Cartesian to cylindrical. Now remember the lectures of coordinate systems. We know that in Cartesian we have the variables x, y and z. Cylindrical is defined by rho, phi and z and we also know the interconnection between them, isn't it? It is like x equal to rho cos phi, y equal to rho sin phi and z equal to z, isn't it? So by converting, putting x, y, z, we can convert the given function from Cartesian to cylindrical as you can see from your screen. Now we are given with the volume charge density rho v and we are asked to find the total charge that is contained within the given volume. My dear we have discussed about the charge densities in previous lectures. Volume charge density is nothing but the total charge per unit total volume within which it is reposited. So you know the total charge will be given by like this volume charge density into the given volume. But we have to find this total charge by the use of integration. And the total charge will be given like this volume integration of rho v. My dear can you guess why? Why we have to make the use of integration? Just remember the previous lectures where we have discussed about the charge densities. Whenever there is an involvement of function and we, we have to find the total value of the function over certain range, then we have to make the use of integration. Isn't it? So to find the total charge, we have to solve this integration. Volume integration of rho. Now we are given with the rho v the volume charge density. We have already converted it into the cylindrical coordinates. Now let us write the dv differential volume. You know we are solving this question in cylindrical coordinates. So the differential volume dv will also be required in the cylindrical coordinates. Now my dear just remember how do we write the differential volume. 
my dear we write the dv differential volume from the expression of dl isn't it so just recall the dl for the cylindrical coordinates it is like this just skip the unit vectors multiply all three coefficients and our differential volume dv will be rho d rho d phi dz so let us put rho v let us put dv and our integration will like this now my dear we have represented the line integration by single integration because you know for the given line only one coordinate was variable similarly for the surface integration we have used double integration because for the given surface out of three two coordinates are varying simultaneously now here we are talking about the volumes volume integration and we know that for the volume all three coordinates are variables so what i am trying to say you line integration was the single integration surface integration is the double integration and similarly the volume integration will be the triple integration that means we will have the limits for all three variables in our question we will have the limits for rho phi and z because you know we are solving the question in cylindrical coordinates and the limits for rho phi and z are already given in the question you can carefully observe that from the question we can put that limit into our integration and the integration would become like this this type of integration we already know that called as variable separable forms and this can be very easily solved by the knowledge of mathematics and by solving this integration we can conclude to our final answer or we can conclude to our final charge as you can see